This is Michi Hoya, this is ACR Sack Speed, and this is the Friday drive in the USF 2000 around Lime Rock Park. So, um, our Factor 2 has come up with another competition, despite the karting scene. Um, there is this competition going on, so the hot lap in the USF 2000, a Mazda around uh, Lime Rock Park, and we have had one try yet which as you can see was not really good so we're currently sitting here with a 48.8 um, and the leaderboard has changed quite massively look at who is second there it's Rudy van Buren so McLaren's world fastest gamer in the competition Kirill Burikov, FSR driver, Yuri Kastrop, GPVWC driver uh, Robin Panzer in P5, ACR Sack Speed driver, and also Formula Sim Racing driver. So um, it's became quite crowded. Um, still very, very famous people in this uh, top 10 here. Jim Paris is also from FSR. So I literally have to improve quite a lot. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we start our marks. Going to put that aside so uh, I can come back to it at some point during uh, during the stream but for now um, yeah, I just wait until my R factor gets fired up and I probably hopefully 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 have a better uh, a better better go around there so um, to be honest with you, I have received a little help from Robin Panzer, who's currently sitting in P5. So, a massive uh, thank you for, for for helping me out setup-wise. Um, nevertheless, the driving job still needs to be done by all by myself. And um, yeah, let's see. Maybe we can tweak the setup a little bit more. Maybe we can give some feedback and even improve it further. Then because. I have just heard that there is a hundred euro or something on the line. So this time the SAR Factor 2 competition is um, handed out with some nice pricings. And um, yeah, wouldn't it be nice to get some of those? Uh, I think the top five do receive uh, downloadable content for free. So if you do not have the GT3 pack of R Factor 2, you just... Uh, have to drive fast around there in the USF 2000 by the 31st of May. And uh, if you are in the top 10, you can get yourself that uh, GT3 Dream Pack for free. Um, however, if you win, you're going to get a full 100 euro. Um, so you can like buy whatever you want. Uh, nevertheless, it's a very nice, uh, very nice competition coming up right there. Um, as I'm waiting for the simulator to start. There we go. So I hope you guys are doing all right. It's Friday. Um, it's a prestigious race weekend coming up with a Formula One being at Monaco. Uh, we've already had the th three practice sessions on Thursday. Uh, we have the Indy 500 coming up on a Sunday evening for European people on a Sunday mid-afternoon, probably for the Americans. If someone would have a live stream, a legal one more or less, um, to be fair. Um, send me in a link to hoyermitch at avidchronicracing.com because sitting in Germany right now ah well <laughs> you don't get it with that being said um, there is no too much of sim racing going on for me personally that weekend so uh, no Nürburgring event where I could travel to no special job outside of my house, no FSR, no GPVWC. Um, however, that enables us to do a lot more with our free time we do have. And uh, yeah, going to be interested whether we can shape up something nice for you on the weekend. Hey Twiggy. Nice to see you here. Hey Quertreiber. Hey you guys. Hey Status. I hope you will enjoy that Formula Sim Racing car really, uh, because it's a challenger to drive, it's so much fun, I enjoy it so much. Well, I would have a big issue if I would not enjoy driving it much. Um,
but still. Uh, let's see whether we are alone on that server, or whether there's anyone with us. Um, actually loading quite long. Stupid Michi has joined while still being in spectator mode from uh, commentating with a formula, uh, with a GPVWC from yesterday. Yep, Robin, that's true. Jonas uh, has put in a 47.599. Um, so into the 47.5s he goes as the very first. Uh, we're back on that server. Want to see if I can restart the weekend would be lovely. Yes, I can. Fair enough. So, as I said, teammates have helped on the setup. And I take it just a little bit more fuel in order to get uh, fully accomplished with that. And I also have to reset um, my rotation on the wheel. I keep forgetting about that every once in a while. And I just hope... Oh, come on, please. Yeah, what I do like about this R Factor definitely is that... What else you want to see in the in the front? You don't get it up to the front. There you go. Can't do a thing. Nope. Quickly have to restart the freaking game. Ah, oh, that that is the most annoying part of of R Factor here. Meanwhile, I do like the fact that you finally can out tap without uh, the games being crashed, but. On the other hand, I uh, still, like, if you do not have a second monitor, which I happily have, <sighs> that is a bit annoying. Fix that, please, Studio 397. Please fix that. Yes, I do know. Are uh, you kidding me, right? Uh, I quickly bring up the picture right here. Competition is running until midnight of 31st of May. Which I do believe is at the end of the 30th May. So uh, Thursday night that's going to be. That is when this competition is ending. For crying out loud. The freaking sim does not run, so please shut the fuck up. Thank you. This is as annoying as it can be. Uh, Sadas, what do you mean you do not have the same version than I have? And if you guys got any questions whatsoever, um, feel free to simply shoot them out. I'm uh, going to get them answered as good as I can. Um, you guys also want to check out the description links. Uh, there is some useful stuff either uh, when talking about my rig or in order to join different communities. And basically you will find the links towards the social media of me and AC at Sackspeed. Right, enough of talking. Um, I'm back on the server. The one that has just restarted. So, happily I'm ready to go now. Just need to adjust the sounds a little bit. There we go. That is why you're not on the uh, on DX11 right now. I mean, I'm probably not allowed to say too much because uh, I haven't been on DX11 for quite a while. 
just trigger it as soon as long as you have the content, which I do believe is free. Entering that competition is free as well. Alright, I gotta fix the sound real quick. Next time I'm into the pits. Which basically is the case right now. should be fine now. Hey Balash. Oh Sardas, that is very bad because honestly for our factor 2 I'm pretty sure uh, there is not long until every single server is updated to uh, DX11 only build. Which basically means then you're not able to play online anymore. Uh, because you some sort of have to have DX11 going up on your machine. Um, so I'd rather advise you to fix that. Having said that, obviously it took me quite a while to de update to DX11 as well. But right now I have to some sort of do it. Or I have to have it. Right now I have no clue whether I'm fast or not. Oh, doesn't feel too bad, really. Well, that is a proper set you build there, Robin. Hats off to you. Am I fast with it, though? That was a 48.82. Despite my personal best, usually has not been very quick at all. Um. But yeah, still need to find to the rhythm, get into the rhythm, I'm definitely lacking a lot in this uh, first sector. I think that is for sure. that curb I w would love if you guys that was a in 54 here wherever I do know uh, that this matchmaker of the competition doesn't allow you to get you on a specific server uh, it just puts you somewhere somewhere only it knows so you do not really have an influence on that Yeah, sad as I would really advise you that. Ah, that gap was just too close. I should have known. So it actually seems like once the tires have caught temperature, the car is not as quick anymore means you have to put in the lap time, lap one or two.
and I've also been told to like do a very slow in lap in order to keep tire temperatures somewhat lower. Although I do need a little bit of feed in the rears, otherwise they go just like here. Car is entirely unstable anyway, just the natural being of the car. enough nevertheless gonna be personal best the lap was a 48.70. Well, I some sort have no clue how people are doing over a second quicker than I do. Yes, I do. Um, it's definitely in the driving. So much time there, over a tenth. Rest of the lap was okay though. At least forty eight something. That was a forty eight point three five. Stardust, you can use whatever car you want. Oh, I, w I didn't design it, but I definitely like the design of the car. That was a 50.70. Hmm, 
so despite the hit definitely should be uh, the first lap you do your best lap time so a quick look up I can't even look it up or bring it up to you annoying so we're gonna do it in the end um, just gonna give a little radio with a 48.34 I'm sitting currently in 348 P41 so a target has already been reached um, but obviously I definitely want to have some more I just keep it there with the fuel it's not the minimum yet uh, but obviously having two liter or having five liters of fuel in the tank makes a difference of half a tenth maybe a tenth if any so crucial to get this sector one right and then the uphill turn rest of the track can probably be considered easy so you only can lose it right there rather than win anything but you're definitely winning on the uphill you win it in sector one that's where you're gonna have to make the difference to the apex a bit no. what did I say you can't win it here you only can lose it hashtag proven Uh, so thank you a lot Robin again for the support here on set. Definitely feels a lot better than what I had before. And there's more racing to come today. Uh, looks like we're gonna have a special show on the sim pit. Uh, coming up in two and a half hours from now, so uh, 7 p.m. Central European Summer Time and 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's when to watch out for setup guide, including a race. No, nope. have to have the braking balance. Um. So yeah, when we go around in the Mercedes ACS Saxby car on iRacing um, around Suzuka and I've talked to Robert and I do think um, that he is able to join us. So after some very long time, we're gonna bring Robert back. Happily his uh, schedule allows it a bit. So we definitely want to take the opportunity. That was a bit too wide, costing all the time. One and a half tenths into the uphill section. Yeah, we cannot even completely gain that back. It's 
still too quick here. Maybe we can try for another lap. No Sadas, you shouldn't. The lap was a 48.62. So on the second lap, the car is just uh, tires are too uh, lit up. So, we're taking out the fuel and hope to um, nail the lap all together. I'm pretty sure I can do a sub 48, uh, which I at least have to do in order to get into the top 20. Um, still 8 tenth of the fastest lap around uh, is gone, well that is the gap, to say precisely. Can you believe it? No, you can't. Well, you can, you see it, but... Ah. Twiggy, I have to, I have to say, I do like the way their way of sign up. It's pretty similar to what the race room racing experience does, and stuff is automatically tracked. Um, I do like that. I think there are worse ways to actually have a competition set. <laughs> so, um, I don't mind too much, really. Lost it completely. You're gonna see a lot of failing and uh, a lot of attempts, really, until I get into the zone where I want. But I can tell you, the other guys sitting in the top 20 definitely made the same. It's not like you go simply out, pull in a lap time and find yourself on the top of the leaderboard. Unless you may be called Rudy van Buren, then you probably have good chances that you simply sit in the car. I saw him doing a live stream about it. So Probably that was uh, longer than a minute though. What do you mean there, Nick, you're doing wrong? What kind of sign up you were doing? Oh, 
Oh well, I'm getting nowhere as well at the minute, Nick. As you can see. could help my balance a lot. The spy probably the high rear wing is definitely needed for the uphill section because the car is very stable because of an aerodynamic grip pushing your car down while coming up the hill. Oh suspension broken pointless to carry on uh, by the way there's one top tip guys you really should stay on the rubbered line if that makes any sense to you because uh, that rubbered line is giving you the extra grip ah oh, you're not registered on the website yet there you go Hey Brendan, how are you doing there? Uh, is it just too less of the rear wing? Could be. I'm driving like a bunch of at the minute. Um, Twiggy, so you have to click on join race. And then this little orange message pops up, you close that, and then you hit the tray icon of Steam. And then you should get that little bell when there is another pop-up of Steam then saying trying to connect to a dedicated server. Then you click OK. And that is when uh, R Factor 2 then starts itself. So yeah, it might be a bit complicated or over overdone, not free of glitches. It says join race on the website page. Not now, Sadas. bit too much of sliding otherwise it would have been a very lovely turn one same here That rear wing, we definitely have a good a tenth. That was a, a forty-eight point five zero. A 
Looks okay. Come on. Not perfect. And thrown it away. Good stuff. So if it's not the first lap. Nope. As simple as that. Oh, Brandon, you raised the USF 2000 at Championship? Yeah, I think that is fun, actually. I've done some several sim racing system races with it. So, uh, I am a little bit familiar with the car, however, it, this is a good half a year past. Still on the lesser rear wing. Uh, lost it again. Oh, come on. Good job, Michi. Lost literally everything you had. Keep in the tenth. Hey, Dragon. Fair that was Mickey. a 48.26. No, it's the second lap, you can completely throw that away. So we're down to a 48.260, which puts us in... 6-0, P38. Um, in order to make it into two, the top 20 though, as a 47.95 required. Alright, let's simply keep going then. Fair enough. Let's see, uh, Nick, whether you join me on that very same server or come towards a different one. That is the corner, how you should take it. Yeah, but I'm, you know, I'm just lacking that tenth from sector one now.
Told you so. The lap was a 48.28. They away from the stupid curbs. Oh yeah, Brendan, I do know that. Um, I still have some margin of fuel left to go down with. Um, so you guys see, whoever is on that list at the very top, obviously you need to have the skill Yeah, but the problem, um, like to uh, what Brendan is saying, he's absolutely right. The tyres in these conditions are perfect for just one lap. If I would start another one, tyres are too uh, too hot, really, which changes the car balance entirely. Even that slide is being a bit too much and now I miss the apex and all the tent is gone again for crying out loud As you see, uh, like to our um, tires now 30 degree when you when you exit the pits, and about 60 when you start the lap, and they are about 90 or 100 when you finish it. Yes, Nick. What I was just saying, random service. There are three up to four random service, and uh, each of them gets uh, filled equally. So. If there are three, three, two, and one guy on each server. The server with the with the one guy left gets the next entrance. So here you go. That's about ties. Just keep that window up for ones in the lap, so you guys see what happens with the temp. Hit that curb, and this completely took the lap away. The lap was a 48.31. Anyway, missed out the braking point, turn one. Into the gravel we go. <sighs> Need to get the keyboard a bit more uh, towards my end. Yes, Brendan, I'm, I'm definitely convinced that it works. Mm. All right. Oh, light blue damage, can't stop the car. Sometimes you even get light blue damage when exiting the pits.
Uh, Brandon, what's your lap time in this competition? I'm pretty sure you set one. Some improvement. That was a forty eight point one seven. Forty eight point one seven four into P one seven four P thirty one. Just the hat of Alex Sable, the uh, GPVWC Super League winner of yesterday. Yay, Heiko! You've bought our factor too, I'm very proud of you. Hey Mac, I'm alright, how do you do? Just trying to get myself into the top 20 meanwhile in that competition. much of a slide once again too far away from the apex and then that lap is definitely gone Uh, what car are you gonna race that tomorrow, Brandon? An I racing? Shall I try increasing the rear wing again? I try increasing the rear wing again. I do believe it's part of my sliding issue and the sliding takes out too much uh, speed of the car. Oh, good luck there. We've done that at the beginning of the year around Daytona. What kind of track you're racing on? It's not the Pacific Majors you're talking about, right? Ah, uh, it's uh, yeah, open series. 
sports car open. There you go. That sliding is not even improved. Was quicker through here though. Hmm. It's a major improvement for me though. That was a 48.05. Nah, two hot tires, as you can see. Lighting a bit too much. Um, so, Brandon, good luck to you there. Wish you the very best for the race. And currently sitting with a 48047. We are sitting in P26, meanwhile. So slowly but surely getting up the ladder. Um, definitely want to see my name into the top 20. That is one of the positions I would consider myself being able to be. And with that being said, I definitely want to go there then. Uh, can do it by getting Sector 1 nailed in. Not sure how much time there's still lying around on that um, uphill right hand. On the penultimate corner, half a tenth maybe? Other than that, I would say I'm pretty much on the limit of my personal abilities. At the second, need to talk to Robin. Uh, maybe he ha has another idea. Because he definitely knows how to race that car around this track because uh, he did it quite fast. How can you, with that mistake, how can you be just, and I say just, half a, half a tenth of your personal best? Maybe I just have to go a little wide there and make it a double apex corner. Could be the case. So you guys have to somewhat go towards an endurance with me here. Uh, cameras, I have no clue because it's uh, not the setup I built myself completely alone. Power up 
Bully card Monza, that means Apex closed. Run wide on the exit. Ooh. Not too sure whether this would be the right approach. If not touching the grass, that would be some good turn one, I believe. Braking oversteer, move the brake by his rearwards. I would put it frontwards, maybe. Okay. So you would take the uphill corner definitely in fourth gear then, Robin? That was a 48.27. You say sector one all in third. Yeah, I would, I would use second there as well. How have you seen the lap of Jonas? I'm so badly triggered knowing exactly I'm capable of a 47 meanwhile that's uh, actually all I want to have 47 to ditch into the top 20 might actually be the case Robin And yeah, you're right, the fifth gear early is definitely faster. For whatever reason, it seems like just the car has more power.
me. That was a 48.11. Yeah, Twiggy, exactly. This will take a lot of practice. Um, so you guys even see me struggling hard. To just get it really right. This bike feels off. I'm gonna try third gear through sector one now. Uh, what happened there to you, Heiko? As you say, you were triggered. So, Robin, also on your fast lap, you would stay in, uh, you would go into fifth before last corner, just to clarify. Oh, this is going to be utterly close. Come on, push it. That was a 48.00. <laughs> zero, zero. Was a good sector one, though. But man, three thousands. <sighs> Puts me... P22. Just half a tenth to go. A full tenth to P15. Hmm. I'm triggered. I'm so triggered. Guys, I'm so triggered. Thank you, Charles. Yeah, the sector one really felt good. And I believe I took the, f the in lap extremely slow this time. So maybe that is just what keeps me away from having a perfect uphill right hander. You know that the tyres are already too warm. Same goes for the final two turns. Uh, and yes Robin, I would advise third gear around uh, sector one. For some reason it just got the power and, or, and Majorly got the traction. I think that is going to be a bad start to the lap. Yeah, into the plus we go. came out with a better lap time though. No, it's too quick. That is too quick. Um, Formula Racing on TV. Well, yeah, I actually subscribe to the F1 TV Pro. 
So, you know, here in Germany you got RTL, which is probably the most shit commentary you could imagine. So I'm like, all right, Formula One, all right, take the hundred dollars or take the sixty dollars or whatever you want uh, over a year. I'm gonna buy the service. I hate this uphill corner. I'm actually not quite a big fan of Lime Rock Park at all. But, I'm on, so... Could be just me. I am to say the bloody German. from the apex there had to lift too much no that rear wing doesn't help yes Heiko R T L R T F in L If I would be asked what RTL does stand for, I would say the real troll lol or something. Because those two Muppets are... I mean, Christian Donner, the expert, is actually quite funny and smart to some extent. But like the lead commentator... Ooh. Feels like still sitting in school being age 16, having no clue what he's talking about sometimes. Utterly ridiculous. quick too far on the inside I can't believe it I cannot believe I'm so triggered for that 47 I can do it I do know I can do it Going a bit too quick into here as well. Let's stay a little bit more on the inside. Either of the next uh, few runs has to be it, because I'm soon reaching the point where you're over drying, not drying, over trying. That is the right. This is exactly what I mean. Like I'm not 100% spot on anymore. Pochisk, haven't seen you for a while. Have you tried this? Hope you're doing well though. And maybe enjoy yourself in this uh, USF 2000 car. I hate doing slow in laps. Just bores the hell out of you.
imagine you try qualifying that on the Nordschleife or something. Has, has to do a 20 minute long, long in lap and then throw it away turn one. How pissed would you be? Yeah. I'm off lines, I'm off everything at the minute. So you have to go a little bit more wider than earlier, turn in again. Well, it doesn't actually sound that bad. I mean, how many people are in there meanwhile? A good 200, I assume? This is a problem with our factor too, really. The community is just too small. It would need more people. Then there is bigger interest into competition. I still do believe that R Factor 2 is the very best sim you can have for league racing. Yeah, Puchusk, so am I. I'm not a hot lapper as well. Just got the final turn right though. Let's try this, come on. Breaking on the grass, lap over. Literally. Yeah, nothing you can do. A 49-1. Well, you should be within the top 100, aren't you? And Nick, don't be too hard on yourself, like I did 30 laps yesterday or day before yesterday and I scored a 48.8, so you're not far away from that. I have no clue what is uh, the best setup you have. I just had uh, have the setup of Robin, I'm trying to get along with this. Brandon, I do think that the full the full wing is the way to go though. I'd rather not up uh, downgrade the wings now. That exit. <laughs> what was that? I just look too aggressive on the turn in. I think I didn't touch it though. I did. Or, hmm. Right. Um. I would say top gear, top question. Did I touch that wall or didn't I? Hmm. Judges, please. By the look of it, I would say not touched. But only just, you know? Mm. 
rip into the barrier that was touched uh, uh, pretty pretty much. Um, yeah, Charles, probably it was. Oh man, that, that lap didn't feel too bad, really. Like, a bit of in Sector 1. If I get Sector 1 perfectly, I would find a 10th, I'm pretty sure. Um, this corner is extremely important. Yeah, Dragon... I'm, I'm so... I was like looking at it very closely and I was like, do I see some kind of change in sliding direction of the car? Um, a very, very slight one, if any. Too far. Okay, I just found the line for turn two. That is what I really found. Have to be a bit more patient there. Really stay on the rubbered line. Um, that is what it really needs. Uh, to avoid the curves. Well, I can't, cannot avoid every curb. Oh, there is that stupid hill again. Come on. Have you lit up my tires now? Quite a bit. I do know I stay away from that. This one is fine, I would say. Um, I would need this a little bit, this is not allowed to be in touch at all, um, so is this one, however the exit curb can be kissed, stay away from that one for sure, ah come on, you can so much do it. Yeah, I just said, stay away from that stupid curve, and what you do, you touch it. Too quick. What about the Formula Easy? I haven't driven that Formula Easy car for a while. Well, Dragon, I, I fear it's all about personal preference, really, because I'm pretty slow in GT3 cars, yet I try to be somewhat fast. And you guys gonna see... I have to double-check with Robert, though, but uh, you're gonna see the setup guy, Mercedes, ACR, Sackspeed, GT3, around Suzuka on iRacing on the IMSR Sports Car Championship. Uh, starting in an hour and a half from now, and... Uh, yeah, we hope for some good points there, but mainly it's going to be about building the set. Such a lovely turn 3 to then simply throw it away.
in order to find this competition, Aaron, you go to www.studio-397.com. On the top right hand of the website, you find yourself a button called competition. Uh, then you get got to the introduction page, uh, you read through the ruling and at some point it says get to the competitions here, click that link, sign in with your Steam profile and then subscribe to either competition. I'm doing the Mazda USF 2000 around Lime Rock Park with light view damage. Because I was going too quick on that stupid in-lab anyway. Um, yeah, click join the server or join. Well, first subscribe to it and then you click join. Um, and then you're gonna join a random server. Yes, Christos, formulas can be extremely exhausting to drive because they have no ABS and no traction control usually. Leading to the fact you could lose it either second when going out of a corner. Uh, this is what makes the FSR car so incredibly hard to drive. Thank you, Jay Sim Racing, on helping out with the direct link. Oh, you got to be kidding. But just to be fair, it's about to end uh, because now I feel myself really overdriving the car. Not just overdriving, but like I'm getting, you know, uh, trying to too hard rather than simply let it slip. Uh, but just note that you will be diverted to either random server, it must not necessarily be this one. Lol, a dragon model, that is so much unfortunate, but to be fair, R Factor 1 is not as dead as you may would expect it. There's still some leagues and competition racing on it. Right, final try guys, uh, other than that I definitely need a break. As you said there, uh, crystals are no longer concentrated. And you can see this in like, you know, if you're good with the car, if you're concentrated, you just come in and nail a lap, lap after lap. Maybe did the apex is right, I'm just like a bit either too late, either too early, but just not um, spot on consecutively.
cannot be a cannon. How hard can it be to not touch the fucking curb? Stakes would be nice though at the Mini Crystals. Need to get me some into my pan and cook. All right, come on. Far off. That I always have to drop it somewhere. <laughs> Stupid spin or semi spin, whatever. Hitting the curb. Going to box because it's pointless to carry on. So, guys, that's about it. Um, 100 laps been pulled in. Um, by saying 100 laps, it's probably not a real 100 laps. Um, right, so Robert has just said he should. He thinks that he is back for a stream in one and a half hours. So that is going to be live on the Simpit. Um, if he runs late, I'm still going to do it, no matter what. Um, I'll try figuring out setup stuff myself. As soon as he arrives, then we're going to swap it and get him in. Anyway, guys, um, thank you so much for being here. Um, quickly... Hold up the results and I see whether a full refresh of the web page does the job. Not yet. Anyway, we did a 48003, which puts us P22 right ahead of Pink Imu. Um, thank you very much for the setup here, Robin. Uh, you've done a good job uh, setting in a 47.7. Don't think I'm gonna be that quick, really. It seems like. Um, I'm not really good on the car. Um, Aaron, actually, I can try that for the next run to be a bit more quick in the in lap. However, I was told that it is definitely quicker to be a bit slower in the in lap because um, tire temperatures might otherwise go through the roof. Anyway, chaps, um, Hope you guys stay tuned. Watch out for the Friday news show of the Simpit in a 25 minutes time on his channel. After that, you can stay on his channel and wait for a good half an hour probably until it's me live again on the Simpit in the Mercedes ACR Saxby GT3 car around Suzuka. Uh, going for a good result in the IMSA Sports Car Championship. So that's it for the minute, guys. Thank you for being here. Hope you have a great weekend all together and I hope we see each other on some stream. Anyway, see you later guys.